Hi everyone, this video is about experiential learning cycle, which is a very useful and widely recognized concept given by a very renowned educational theorist David A. Cole. Before we discuss it, just think of your academic journey. Did you really enjoy? Did you really learn the things the way it has to be? Whom do you accuse if you felt that all your learning years were not utilized the way it should be? Actually, it was nobody's fault but the traditional way of teaching where learning was sheer transfer of information from teacher to learner. It was more of banking concept of education where ideas were simply deposited in the mind of passive learner. It was neither your fault nor teachers. For many of the teachers, it was like a sin they were committing, they did not know. So, what now? We have a great alternative to the traditional way of learning which is experiential learning. We all know that we learn from experience, but actual truth is that we learn from experience by transforming it. If you are getting confused, do not worry and watch the video till the end. So, let us understand the experiential learning cycle. The experiential learning cycle has four stages or modes of experience. The first one is concrete experience. The second one is reflective observation. The third one is abstract conceptualization. And the fourth one is active experimentation. Let us discuss the first one which is concrete experience. It simply means receiving sensory information about the thing happening in the present. In another word, it is called here and now experience. It is also called percept. In concrete experience, a learner learns by personal involvement with real-life situations. The second stage is reflective observation. This is all about watching or developing observations about one's own experience. It is not just receiving information, but reflecting upon it. This process is about an effort to describe the details of the experience, what was observed by the learner. It is about giving individual meaning and interpretation to the experience. It is more deliberate than concrete experience which is rather intuitive. The third stage is the stage of abstract conceptualization which is simply drawing conclusion, creating concept, belief and ideas about the past and the future. The final stage is all about active experimentation where the learner tries to test the things by trying and testing. It is more about practical application of the concept. It is often seen that people only consider active experimentation as mode of experiential learning which is wrong because all modes are modes of experiential learning. Now there is one more important point to understand in this cycle is about the way these four modes are classified. Concrete experience and abstract conceptualization are deemed as grasping modes of experience, whereas reflection and active experimentations are called transforming modes of experience. Educationist says that in order to keep the learning cycle continue, a learner requires concrete experience and abstract conceptualization both. We need to be perceptive about our environment, and we need to have some pre-existing concepts as well to make sense of this world in order to survive. For proper learning, there should be some praxis or fine equilibrium between reflective observation and active experimentation, otherwise it might cause a learner either hyperactivity or withdrawal, which is not good for learning. So this was all about experiential learning in nutshell. This concept can really help as a teacher, trainer or educator. You can really strengthen the process of learning for your trainees or learners. By using this concept of experiential learning cycle, and you can engage your learner in more creative way and improve the learning. Thank you very much for watching the video.